At Air Environmental, we take pride in the products we design. Our attention to detail and unwavering commitment to quality materials ensure our customers have reliable solutions when they need them most. We understand, however, that Mother Nature can be harsh, causing significant wear and tear on our air environmental diversion tubes. That's why we recommend having a repair kit close by, allowing you to get your product back to work in no time. Air environmental diversion tube repair kits include the following. One 4-ounce canister of HH66 vinyl cement one one-inch glue brush, six alcohol prep pads, three pieces of 180-grit sandpaper, one pair of nitrile gloves, three pieces of six-inch by six-inch 22-ounce PVC fabric, one six-inch by six-inch 14-ounce stick-on patch. There are two ways to approach the repair process for a diversion tube. First is the temporary stick-on patch. The second option is a glue-on patch. These patches are used on pinholes and holes up to a quarter inch in size. A glue-on patch will be necessary for a more permanent fix. To begin your stick-on patch repair, drain your diversion tube and be sure it is completely dry. Next, thoroughly clean the surrounding area around the hole with the included alcohol pads. Scuff the cleaned surface using the included 180-grit sandpaper. Once the adhesion area is prepped and clean, cut out a rounded patch that covers the hole by at least one inch on all sides. To apply the stick-on patch, peel the paper from the back center it over the hole, and roll onto the surface of the diversion tube. Rub out any bubbles or air pockets, and your stick-on patch has been properly installed. To begin your glue-on patch repair, drain and dry the diversion tube entirely. Next, using the provided 22-ounce PVC fabric, cut out a rounded patch that is at least 2 inches larger than the hole on all sides. Next, scuff the masked area and one side of the patch with sandpaper. After sanding, clean both the masked area and patch one more time with another alcohol pad. Once your patch has been prepped, mask off the surface of the diversion tube around the hole. Make sure the masked area is slightly larger than the patch itself. Once both surfaces have been fully prepared, paint a layer of adhesive onto the masked area and the sanded side of the patch. Allow the glue to dry entirely. Next, apply a second layer of adhesive to both surfaces and let this coat sit until it becomes tacky in texture. Once the glue has become tacky, apply the patch in a careful rolling motion to the masked surface of the diversion tube. Use a roller or rounded edge putty knife to apply pressure to the whole patch and be sure to push out any air bubbles. Allow 24 hours before filling the diversion tube with water. Once the patch has been secured and the adhesive is cured, the repair process is complete and you may use your air environmental diversion tube for future flood prevention needs.